Tony Camp here. Uh, I've got the John Deere 1025R behind me and the 54 inch quick hitch snowblower. We're gonna run through real quick. It's pretty windy out, but we're gonna run through real quick on uh, hooking it up. Uh, show you guys how it's done. I was online and I didn't see too much, uh, too many uh, videos or information on it. So figured throw it together real quick. Let's do it. So that's the drive shaft for the snowblower. We're just gonna throw a little bit of oil on the end of the shaft there so it doesn't get stuck. All right, we're gonna shove the shaft through this uh, bracket. We got the shaft in, now we're going to shove the whole contraption up underneath the tractor. Now take that pin that you got with your uh, bracket, run that right in that hole. <clears throat> All right, now we're under the tractor. Just make sure this collar is back and when you push on this just give it a good hard push and make sure that collar is gonna snap in so if you push it too hard you know pull it back a little bit and make sure that's gonna be flush shake it a little bit so it doesn't you know it's not gonna fall off that's it so this is the bracket for the uh, snowblower itself top bar goes right here in the uh, slot just like that that's all there is to it and take your locking pins run those in and you're good to go connect your lines Just connect your drive shaft.
make sure everything's locked in. That's it. We'll just run these. I'll just take your uh, snow blower lines. I'll get up front and test it out. Success.